introduce yourself. Hi, I am Gianna, the one-handed lady golfer from Adaptive Golfers, and we just have an amazing thing that's happening this week. This whole golf summit for Adaptive Golf has been an incredible, magical experience, not just for myself, but all for, for all the other people that have participated in this. And I want to just tell you a little story about a, a woman that just came to us. Uh, her husband called me about three days ago and his wife had a shoulder surgery about six years ago and the shoulder surgery did not go very well and he said that his wife and and him were out always playing golf together they loved to play golf together and she hasn't been able to go out and play golf for six years now wasn't sure if she could do it and i invited him to send her down and come down here to Barefoot Resort and see if we could help her get her golf swing back. And we just witnessed an magical, amazing experience that she is now going to get it back out and play golf with her husband. And that's why I'm doing what I'm doing here. It's to bring golfers like Miss Sisko to back to the game of golf that they so much loved and back to the relationship of being able to go out and play golf with her husband again and it's a moving experience it's been an amazing week and i'm just so blessed and so moved by all the things that have happened so so how did it start what is your why where did this come from this started because um there are so many different organizations that are doing some amazing wonderful work out there like the pga hope and the united states disability golf association and the North American one arm Golfers Association and the Northeastern Amputee Association. But I don't fit into any one of those categories. And I was looking for some way to be able to speak to and bring others that aren't veterans, that aren't one armed, that aren't amputees. I was born with no fingers on my left hand and I didn't have anybody talking to me and I wasn't even aware that there was an opportunity for me to be able to help improve the game, improve people's lives by bringing them back out on the golf course, just like we did with Mrs. Cisco. So it's, it's something that I get a gift every time I see that magic happen with someone. And it's such a moving experience and it's something that I will cherish for the rest of my life. Even if that's just one story, we've had so many success stories. We've brought in a, quite a number of people back to the game of golf, and we're going to continue to. And why is it important to honor your why? It's important to honor your why because you have to listen to what your heart is telling you that is, is going to help you get outside of yourself. It's going to help you reach out to others and connect with others. And if you can help bring someone, no matter what the tool it is, whether it's golf or any other thing, if you can see what it feels or actually feel what it feels like to help someone find their potential, find their best potential for whatever their ability is, not necessarily what's up against everybody else is doing, but, but to be able to bring someone back out of what they normally thought they could not overcome. Um, it's, it's just an amazing thing. And it's something that if, if I can find my why, I'm sure there are more people out there that have a why that they just haven't found yet. So keep looking, search your soul, search your heart, find what your why is and go for it.